Who here hates technology? We're trying to film a podcast here, people. <laughs> and there's no storage on this phone. And it dies with a full battery. Like, who does that? Okay. Hi, guys. I'm Keena Marie. <laughs> Welcome to my podcast. <laughs> for the ones that have known me for a while, what this podcast is called is called The Opposite Woman. What this podcast is about is, like, taking a stand that, like, not all women, like, have to be, like, stereotypical women. You know, like, there's, like, all these, like, stereotypes revolving on women that we have to live up to certain expectations, and we don't. For those that have known me, I have changed up my content quite a bit. There's a difference between what's out there and, like, compared to the other things that are out now. I'm 21, you know, I want to take, a, like, a more mature, grown, sexy approach to things. What I'm doing now is that I'm doing more of, like, regular, like, you know, I'm adding more, like, regular content to my stuff. Like, real life shit. Like, something that is, like, going on, like, on YouTube right now that, like, I love and, like, respect so much. Well, like, not necessarily TikTok because there's still, like, a, like, a lot of, like, trends, like, revolving around TikTok. And that is, like, people are no longer, like, playing, um, not real stuff. You know, they're posting, like, more real shit, and, you know, it's going on YouTube, and, you know, this is my opportunity to, um, be real. You know, like, talk about things that, like, some, like, things that, like, are not talked about. Like, something that has been going on in my life is that I have been going through, like, a lot of transitions, like, revolving around my personal life. So, I have been kind of distant, like, you know, my, I, you know, I have been really distant, on social media you know I'm not like that anymore you know I don't just like talk about things that go on in my personal life you know I'm a real conservative person now and like I get scared to talk about certain things you know because I'm scared you know like if I say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing you know somebody's gonna come back and they're gonna be mad at like what I say you know and like it's hard you know being like you know living like a public lifestyle being being 21 you know you're at that age you like where you can officially say like you are a grown woman the things that like i'm going to be like bringing to the table is real struggles that like 21 your women go through you know that like that is not like like a stereotypical woman you know we are the opposite women you know we're not like stereotypical women we walk around in sweatpants you know we don't shave our legs you know like that kind of shit this podcast is going to be like my baby you know because i plan on like diving into some like dark shit that like you know i think would really help other women out there the thing that is like going to be challenging for me is that i will be like writing filming and producing everything as you can see like my notes are in my hand girl you know we don't just talk about stuff off the top of our head like we got a plan <laughs> you know like i am my own um manager Basically, we probably, you know, we are, like, our own manager. But anyways, on today's episode, I'm going to be talking about, like, you know, how I feel being the opposite woman, like, on social media. Like, the pressures that come with it, like, etc. What is, like, not normal about it is, like, regarding my lifestyle. I'm going to be honest about it. This is not me, like, I, you know, I don't talk about, you know, anything that goes on in my personal life. You know, at all nothing to do with anything that goes on in my personal life you know but I do want to talk about dating on here you know I'm not just gonna go on here like trashing people from like my past life because you know I believe you know talking about people on social media you know that's not gonna solve anything you know if you're having an issue with somebody it should be discussed in like a private matter you know you know it took me a really long time to real realize that my life you know is not normal you know and I'm very like quite opposite and you know it's it's very hard you know the thing about like us women you know influencers like especially like you know being the opposite woman is the way we deal with things is entirely different than how most women deal with things there's something that like I cannot like you know I cannot do is I cannot define my lifestyle as a normal lifestyle I will never say anything negative, like, no matter what, like, no matter what woman you are, you know, I'm not the type on here, you know, I am, like, pro-supporting women, you know, I will get on here, and, you know, something I love, you know, and, like, I'm just bringing this to the table, you know, like, Adeline Morin, I love her girl supporting girl lifestyle, 
Yes, like, we love that. But, like, there is some, like, what I love is that, like, now, before I say anything, like, you know, obviously, I'm never going to say anything negative, like, no matter what type of woman you are. There is some bomb-ass, hard-working women out there that absolutely deserve the world. As I got older, I began to understand things a lot more. Like, people, like, like, like the people that want, like, a stable life, it's very hard to get. I respect people so much that, like, know immediately what they want to do, like, at a young age. And they, are, they like, they achieve all their goals. And, like, I'm like, that's good. Like, that's good for you. Like, I respect you traditional women that immediately go to college after high school. You know, I didn't understand it at a young age. But I totally get it now. And I wish that, like, I wish that's what I did, like, wholeheartedly. Like, for me personally, right now, like, I definitely have not figured life, like, at all. And, like, that's okay because, like, you know, you're in your 20s. This is your time to explore that and figure out what you want to do. You know, like, I'm, like, I'm so sorry. Like, can I share this? Like, it's from Facebook. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm in charge, you know, so, like, I don't know why I can't, like, share this. Like, like I said, I'm my own manager. You know, I saw this post on Facebook, and I said, you know, that married by 30 shit looking real 45-ish right now. <laughs> Accurate shit I've ever seen. I'm gonna, like, touch on something real quick, and this is, like, for my younger generation. It's okay to not know, like, what you're doing at 18, 19 years old. You know, I'm not allowed to talk about past relationships on here, but I didn't, like, I didn't do shit you know, instead of jumping to something that I was not ready for, you know, also, please, like, please know that, like, I'm not, like, stereotyping, like, anyone at the younger generation, because, like, their experience may not be, like, my experience, you know, everybody experienced something different, you know, everybody goes through shit, like, at different ages, you know, it just depends on the type of person you are. All right, let's talk about lifestyles real quick. For me, I'm totally different than all my social medias. For me, like, Facebook is the number one app. Like, you know, I just like to climb around. But, like, that's, that's, but that's not me, you know? <laughs> Everybody, like, fucks around and jokes around on Facebook, you know? I'm also different from Instagram and TikTok because, like, I come across as organized and confident. And that's not, not, not me either, you know? I tried to post more, like, real shit on TikTok, you know? And, like... I, because, like, I want people to know, like, you know, my struggles. Like, you know, I don't want to be, like, publicly, like, on social media talking about, like, I have my shit together because I obviously don't. For me, the hardest thing is being myself because everybody has always made decisions for me. Another thing I struggle with is, like, being my own worst enemy, overanalyzing everything and pushing everybody away. For me, all my social media accounts is ran by me and managed, like, because I do not trust anybody anymore. So, like, let's talk about something, like, real quick, like, on my personal life. For me, something I struggled with is people talking down to me. Like, if you do this, like, I, I, you know, I hate that. So, like, I'm not allowed to talk about anyone, like, from my past life on here. So, like, I'm going to put it, like, in a code. A lot of times, like, people see your social media, like, for me, like, it's it's the positive with content, like, with Kina Instagram page. They see that, and I think, you know, I want to be involved with her. Then, like, they think, you know, I want to be involved with her. Then they, like, see, you know, how I actually am, and they realize, like, real quickly, like, and they run. That's something wrong with this generation is that they think you have to be that person. Like, they see all these people on Instagram. And, like, ladies, let me tell you. Ladies, let me tell you this. You see those queens on Instagram, girl? Honey, that ain't you. Like, you're never going to be that person. So, like, stop trying to, like, achieve that goals. For me in relationships, again, like, I don't talk about people from my past life, you know, People, you know, I've been through different type of situations and, like, people want to get with me, like, just because I'm attractive. Me, I think I'm really ugly, but, like, that's just me. <laughs> then, like, leave me for my flaws. Like, for me, the number one thing I struggle with is trusting people because, like, their true colors always come out. Just like me, like, just like being involved with me, like, I, and no, I don't just talk about other people, like, when their true colors come out. You know, I talk about me as well because I know I have a lot of dark shit, like, from my past life, you know, and, like, I just, you know, my true colors come out sometimes, and, you know, I'm not proud of my past life, but, you know, 
you know that's the message that i have for people like do not run from your past like everybody's true colors like always comes out in the end and for me you know just like i say other people you know i say it's about other people you know their true colors will come out but also with me there are times my true colors come out and i'm not proud of that either like you gotta like pay attention like i don't exclude myself is what i'm trying to say i don't exclude myself like because like i get it you know, I'm not excluding myself from that, like, that I'm perfect. You know, I'm not like that. For me, personally, it's all about paying attention to vibes. You know what I hate more in the world is those type of people that are, like, you know, that they, they, they use, like, hey, like, you know, this is why I'm mad. And then go, like, well, you know, I heard some stuff about you. I never deny any accusations about me personally i always say well you know you probably heard right <laughs> but that does not have to do with you gaslighting me <laughs> for it's always about the person you are it's, it's always all about the person you are dealing with the thing about knowing like a person like for multiple years is you never actually know their true colors what's scary is we live in this very like um canceled culture well where if you don't say the right thing and again or act the right way you're immediately canceled me personally i could never do business with family or friends business often comes in between friendships all the time something i want to touch on real quick is like married couples like doing their business together well like it, it comes like you know it has it has its moments you know what well, and like there's one that like immediately comes to mind like they do great together they do great it, it all depends on who you're dealing with me personally and like i'm not married you know nor engaged you know if it works for you like that's fantastic but for me like i would be afraid to like dive in that like situation because like too many differences will arrive if you do it that way right now i feel like i'm in a very like i'm very small on social media so i don't feel like i need anyone but as I grow, you know, that might change. Another thing, like, I want to touch on is anybody that works, you know, with when you live a very, like, public lifestyle is that they risk, like, their privacy, too, as well. For me, I live in a very small town where everybody talks. So, people, like, you know, your business gets around. You know, it gets out. You know, it's bad when, like, law enforcement officers, like, get paid to protect, you know, your own town and they even say to get out of here. I think for me, you know, I can always say, like, this is my home, but, like, you have to get, like, for me, like, if your home has caused you more trauma than good, like, then I think it's time for you to, like, get out of here. Everybody has, like, a higher power, you know, there, I think there is something bigger than us out there. There's some days, like, I really feel miserable, and then, like, something happens, you know, something good happens, and, like, it gives you a reason to push forward. Imagine going through, like, all, like, going through life, like, completely alone. Like, for me, like, there's a lot of lovely people in the world. There's always something to be grateful for. My cats are trying to eat my notes. Some of this is added in. <laughs> some of this is my personal opinion because I wanted to add in some stuff. This is behind-the-scenes footage, guys. This is real. Cats are a handful. There's good things about cats and there's bad things about cats. <laughs> I haven't been doing, you know, this lately, but I love journaling. I used to. I would journal, like, right at the end of the day, like, you know, after all the BS that I would go through, you know, I would always write down what I'm grateful for, and, you know, and that by itself, you know, will keep you going. This is, like, you know, well, this is what I'm grateful for, and, like, this is why I'm going to keep, like, going through things. You know, this is what's going to keep me, like, forward in my career, and, you know... It, it'll make you feel better about whatever it is you're going through this is for all my women you know ladies you have a voice please use it just know if something goes wrong you always and always you know you will end up where you're supposed to be i did um you know i i'm working on an episode where i can be as vague as possible but more stuff is coming we have a we have a real real one coming out and like I don't plan on holding back because like you know <laughs> you know it's it's a lot it, it's very deep it's very deep is what I'm trying to say I have so much you know I want to say but like I have to hold back a lot because some things I say like come out as harmful and like a lot of things like I put on social media it comes out as harmful 
you know, and, and I have people contact me, you know, going like, you know, it, it, you know, and like, I'm not obviously exposing anything from my personal life, but I have people contact me and they're like, why are you talking about beating my ass? And I'm like, I'm not, you know, <laughs> I'm for real. Like you, you say shit on social media, you know, you do, you do. And, and sometimes it doesn't even have anything to do with that person. You're just clowning around, man. You know, it just, it happens. It happens, you know. Like, I have so much, like, I want to say, but I do have to hold back sometimes. Like, I really do. Like, I, you know, there is one thing I do want to say. If there's anything I ever say on here that may come out as harmful to you, you know, because a lot of times I don't pay attention to what I say. I don't pay attention to what, you know, I say on social media, you know, like, please reach out to me, you know, because I'm a very, you know, again like I'm a very you know I'm an easy person to talk to you know I'm not one of those like social media people that like I'm gonna be a bitch to everybody <laughs> but like you know I I just you know like I you know I'm very easy to cut you know get in contact with if there's anything I say you know and I would never address the situation personally you know I'm not gonna say like on social media I said this and it offended somebody you know if you have something to say you know like I will address it and be like I'm sorry that I offended you you know I won't do it again another thing that is not shown on social media is like the amount of stress I'm under every day y'all look at my boot on my foot <laughs> we done broke our angle y'all we don't broke our ankle. <laughs> that don't have shit to do with this podcast, but we did it, girl. We did. You know, I'm still alive, but I'm barely breathing. Anyways, another thing, I, like, I, you know, I, I keep off, like, platforms. It's, like, my mental health journey and mental health struggles. You know, I do want to be more real about my mental health struggles. You know, I do want to be more real about my health, but I think there's time for it. And, you know... I just don't think it needs to be brought to this platform just yet, you know. It's very obvious that, you know, I'm not ready for, like, to get personal with that part of my life. I really don't know. Like, I feel like I deserve more credit because, like, I keep certain situations off social media now. Now, the old me, I'm not gonna lie. Like, man, I was a bitch. Like, I'd be like, so-and-so did this and -and so-and-so did that. No, we're not like that anymore. Like... Talking about people on social media, it doesn't matter the situation. It ain't going to solve anything but make people mad, you know. It's not going to bring you and your relationship closer, you know. Like, I don't talk about anybody like that on social media. And it's not my business, you know. Like, I will say I deserve more credit because, like, the, for the most part, like, I do keep myself composed on social media. You know, I used to, like, not be like that. You know, I used to be so quick to be like, so-and-so and so-and-so did this. But, you know, nowadays... I feel like it's more, it's more important to pick and choose your battles because some people, like, you know, you really shouldn't waste your breath on. Another thing I don't talk about is that it's so sad because it's it's kind of my brand and that, like, I don't, like, you know, I don't talk, you know, what I don't talk about is, like, you know, I don't need a man. You know, you can constantly, you know, it's constantly, you know, women don't need men, like, real life. Like, you know, I'm always, like, I'm always so, but the in, in real life, guys, I'm being real. I'm so fucking lonely from pushing, pushing men away. Something like, you know, something men like can always give is like instantly like, which I feel like everyone needs to hear this. You know, you have to watch who you get with because that person may not like having like the same, like the, the type of intimacy you want, you know, maybe something completely different than what that other person wants, you know? I have been, like, so lonely inside for several years. And, like, some of those times, like, I was in relationships. You know, and, you know, I felt lonely. You know, I can go deeper with relationships. But, you know, I cannot, like, you know, I'm not, I cannot legally talk about my past on here. You know, however, I can say, you know, I am 100% to blame, like, for my past. You know, I played the victim in most situations. And I'm not trying to, but, like, I did. And that's wrong, you know nobody's perfect you know things happen so like let's go into something a little like less dark here so you know like you know we like to be dark and twisty on here (laughs) my cats keep walking in front of my camera and that's not okay with me that's not okay with me but you can't do anything we don't have a chair in here we don't have an office in here whatever you know and i don't lost my place in my notes this is behind the scene footage so it's okay 
you know but like i said i played the victim and we're not we're not going to talk about this anymore you're not you know the past doesn't matter what matters is the present i have a lot a post coming out like please continue to like help my channel grow and like thank you for being here thank you for listening to this you know it'll mean a lot to me if you watch the official podcast that's going to be coming out you know i i i'm so proud of this like like i said this is my baby you know i'm so happy to be here talking about these topics you know i me personally you know i would love to travel more like the deputy sheriff says, like, get out of here. Like, y'all are supposed to protect our town. And, like, you're over here talking about get out of here. Like, it sucks here. But, like, another thing, like, the deputy says, like, get out of here, girl. Like, wh where I live, like, it will always be, like, where I got my start. But, like, you know, you know, you got to get out of your hometown, girl. You just can't be here. I know for me, and, like, don't get me wrong, I love my life. But I don't have a lot of peace. You know, something is very hard for me like being in this town is like dating you know I feel like I do not completely open up certain aspects of my life like to men how do I know if they accept all aspects of my life including flaws I know for me every person I have been with the number one complaint is that I do not communicate like when every time like I try to communicate they are like I feel like you know when I try to communicate my problems you know like I feel like I'm always made the problem you know, and for the most part, they were right. But, like, I feel like, for me, you know, I can't properly communicate if they don't listen. You know, they ask what's wrong, and then you try to tell them, and they're, like, you know, they're quick to blame yourself. And, you know, sometimes you just don't need that. Like, you need someone to be, like, hey, like, do you need anything? And, you know, I don't want advice. Like, it's a sad thing. Like, I don't, you know, I don't want advice. You know, I want support. The number one question I get is, like, what am I looking for, like, on certain aspects of relationships? You know, I kind of, like, I know I kind of closed out this conversation already. But, like, I feel like, you know, you know, to answer the question is I don't know myself. I don't know myself very well. And, like, I don't know what I want to do in my life. It's like I said, like, I feel like I'm not ready for that form of intimacy until, like, I am, com you know, you can't be ready for that form of intimacy until you're 100% honest with yourself. You know, the number one question I get in my life is, like, is my life different from social media? I feel like my life is more dramatized. <laughs> Ask anybody. I'm very dramatic. I'm very dramatic. I own up to that shit, though. I do. I own up to that shit. Some of my YouTube videos, like, in the past, you know... I, I'm very ashamed of it because it was not the real me and you know I gave in the certain situations you know I do get complaints from like other people say like you get like your life your life is like a reality show and like I'm sorry I'm trying to be more real you know I'm trying to be on real like you know I, I'm trying to get more real guys I'm sorry you know I'm not trying to be dramatized anymore <laughs> something that like you know something it should be is that like how you get followers and just like <laughs> if you become more dramatic you get more followers and if you live life like a reality show you get more followers is what I'm trying to say it's like it's like hey you guys let's get into a scandal <laughs> on purpose okay sometimes you know I'm just kidding I'm just kidding we're just gonna drop it you know I saw what I was trying to do there, but we're just gonna drop it you know, what the funniest thing is that people come to my house thinking I'm this, like, organized, like, churchy girl. And when they get here, they see this unorganized, crazy New York cat lady that's a bitch. <laughs> and they never come back. I never answer, like, my phone either. And that's another complaint. Like, can I please say this without saying any, like, any name? Can I say this? Man, it's my channel. I'm my manager. It's not about, it's not anybody from my past life. You know, I wasn't involved with, him, with, with this person like that. I'm not even going to give a gender. You know, they don't, you know, I don't see any, I don't see this person at all. So it's fine. It's fine. It, it's fine. I can say what I want. <laughs> okay, so like, it's a story. It's a story. I'm going to tell it. I have been really good about not talking about what happened. <laughs> but like, he, he, 
this person is not from where I live. You know, they're not from here. So don't be trying to hunt this person down because you will not found this person. We're not even going to give a gender, okay? We're not going to give a gender. And because, like, if we're going to say it could be male, it could be female. That's what we're going to say. Because, like, you know, <laughs> and if you figure it out, you do. But, like, whenever, like, I call this person out for not, like, you know, for not caring about me. That could be about anybody because I, I, I called out a lot of people for not caring about me. Like, keep in mind, this person has never, ever been to my house. So, like, this is, like, you know, just so you know, like, if you think it's about you, it's not. Like, this person has never come to my house. You know, we don't go to the same, like, organization, you know. And, like, you know, this person, you know, like, it has never been to my house. I've never seen this person in person, actually. It was all, like, communication on social media. And the only thing I was trying to say is, like, you know... How do I know you're not, you know, how do I know you're not a fake person? <laughs> just being honest, just being honest. Like, keep in mind, like, like I said, this person never came to my house. Keep in mind, I'm not saying any gender because of this reason. You know, there's not a label on my um, sexuality, you know, so, like, it doesn't matter. The first thing this person said, you know, and I hate this shit. I hate this shit, like, with all, like, passionate, like, whenever you go to, like, talk to somebody and you call them out on their shit, you're like, who did you talk to? Oh, yeah, I talked to somebody, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You know, like, first of all, like, nobody, bitch, because I don't ever answer my damn phone. And, like, th th number two, that's gaslighting me. We sound like the one of them influencers. Get gaslighting me. We're not like that, y'all. We're not like like that. Um, you know, <laughs> what was I gonna say? <laughs> you know, I don't. I don't have anything negative to say about that person. But I was trying to make a point. You know, like I hate people that do that. You know, how do I know you're even? You know, all I wanted is for you to come see me in person, man, because I thought you were a fake person. You know, like those fake people on Tinder, man. Like, I don't I know you're not, you know, how do I know you're real? You know, I'm just, I don't have Tinder. Don't come find me. You know, we did try to find out information about this person and we never did. You know, <clears throat> EMTs try to protect other EMTs. Anyways, the number one ac accurate thing about me is my zodiac sign. Y'all, my zodiac sign is toxic. Okay. It's Leo. We talk about folks. We're toxic, okay? You know what? I try to hide certain aspects of my life, and one thing I try to hide is that I'm so fucking lazy. Unless I get in the drama. Unless I get in the drama, and then I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna find out some information about this person, okay? But I'm not like that anymore. Point made. <laughs> you know, I don't fight people. You know, I'm very conservative. Like, people see me in public, and like loungewear and they're like is that the same person who is super fine on instagram quit trying to eat my notes fam but like on here is like another thing you know so we meet guys on tinder but like guys on tinder be like is this person real like is she real <laughs> you know I don't think she's real because like they see me in public and compared to my tinder like in all my leather clothes and then they see me like wherever and I'm in sweatpants and a damn boot because I don't broke my ankle and you know I'm like I think my more I think my style is a little more edgy though than feminine like that's like you know that's completely off topic but recently I have been struggling with like maintaining like social media like because of my health like I like I literally got so sick <laughs> someone said to tell the story about my foot so like I'm going I'm gonna tell the story about my foot like I'm it's not even funny anymore like I got told to be like you know you should say what happened to your foot and like why the why you're in a boot and like we're just adding this in here <laughs> You know, guys, this is real shit. Like, you see, there's two people in this world. The, peop the people that are asleep by 10 p.m. And then all... <laughs> that, so, we're going to have to add on to the story, okay? Because this was... I wrote this before I was in a boot. So, we're going to have to add on here. There's two different people in this world. The people that are asleep by 10 p.m. 
then there's me running around the damn living room at three o'clock in the morning and people get mad I, I get mad at people like why don't you why don't you answer your phone it's three o'clock in the morning like don't nobody want to talk at three o'clock in the morning like I told a guy and this was so mean like it, it, it sounds awful but like I was simply trying like he was he was just trying to get to know me y'all he was just trying to get to know me and I done told him I was like don't text me past 10 p.m because I'm not awake I am awake, y'all. I just didn't want to answer my damn phone. You know, I'm trying to watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians. I'm trying to watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians. I don't want nobody blowing up my phone while I'm watching the Kardashians, you know? But, like, I'm on an ADHD medicine and, like, this, like, you know, and I keep forgetting to take it. And, and you know, the, the thing about ADHD medicine, you have insomnia if you don't take your ADHD medicine because you can't focus. You know, you have insomnia if you do take your ADHD medicine. It's literally not a win, but, like, let's get into the story about my foot. It started off, you know, my foot kept going numb. You know, like, losing feeling in it. I kept falling, y'all. I kept falling. So, I'm walking to church, right? <laughs> this is why people think I'm this church, you girl. Like, so, I'm walking to church, right? I go to walk down this hill. Like, this steep hill. And I'm thinking, I'm going to walk down this hill, y'all. I'm going to make it. You know, I'm going to make it. You know? And I'm like... I go to step down on that foot. And it's like nothing there. You know? And it turns to the side. And all I heard was this... And I'm like, my foot done broke, y'all. My foot done broke. So we go to the emergency room. This is like 8 o'clock at night. We go to the emergency room. We don't know if it's broken or not, so we're going to put a boot on it. Man, fuck y'all. How do y'all not know how to read an x-ray? Anyways. <laughs> but, like, I don't know why this happens. But, like, you know, all day, you know, I'm never productive. You know, the second, tw but the second 12, a 12 a.m. hits. Let's write a 20-page research, like, argumentative paper. Like, the sad part is, is nobody wants to talk at 12 o'clock in the morning. Like, so, like, I sit by myself and I think about life. Basically, like, I feel, you know, I have real bad insomnia and I don't take my meds. In the story, take your meds, guys. Otherwise, you're going to become crazy like me. Okay. I feel like online, my life is very dramatized. Outside of that, I'm a very real person. And I feel like I need to incorporate more, like, more of that into my routine. The thing about me is, though, like, I'm not very much, like, I'm not a very, like, high-maintenance person until I get involved with, like, dating. And, like, I'm very, like, you know, I'm very strict when it comes to dating nowadays. And, like, you know, my family's always, like, Kia date somebody other than like i can't talk i can't talk about that i can't talk about like that but just know just know like you know if you don't wear a uniform then i'm not interested man and i got and i got told i got told you know you gotta stop doing that shit <laughs> because like you can't swipe no just because a person isn't wear a uniform you know but oh girl let me tell you like if a man's in a uniform if a if a if a woman's in a uniform oh girl if it's a man Probably won't sleep with him, but he's super good looking, right? But if it's a woman, <laughs> I cannot believe I just put that shit out there. <laughs> you know, and like I got told I had to quit being so strict, but like, just know, like, it, if you know, if I, if you don't wear a uniform, you know, <laughs> I'm very strict. I'm very strict. End of story. We're not gonna say anything else. But the only thing that like shows in my videos, you know, is that I'm very overdramatic. And I am. And I try not to be. But like, you know, in my defense, you know, I get it from my mother. In the story. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. And like, this is a life lesson for you guys. You know, when you address things publicly, everybody has their own opinion. They are either on your side or that other person's side. There is no in-between. So it's best to leave it alone. Me now, I don't address I don't address friendship problems or relationship problems publicly, and like no one should quit fucking with my papers. 
here here here's the thing like don't don't do it like in my opinion like y'all are both wrong like shut the fuck up you're both wrong quit eating my damn notes you know, um, y'all are both wrong. Just like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, they're, communicate your problems. Like, actually talk to people in person. You know, like, don't be, like, bashing people on social media. Like, you got a problem with somebody. Like, talk to them. Communicate. I know if somebody, this is just me. Again, I'm not putting, I'm, you know, I'm not airing my dirty laundry on here, you know. But, like, for me, you know, I just, like, if somebody texts me about a situation, and it's not coming for directly from directly that person. Not that I've ever experienced that before. I've never been texted from unknown numbers. You know, if they have, you know, you're not talking to me. So, um, if I ever, you know, was to get contacted by like an unknown number, like for say, um, I probably wouldn't answer it just because it wasn't coming from like that person because I'm all for like if you have a problem with me please talk to me 101 like don't send somebody else to do it not that I have ever experienced that okay like and, and like just quit trying to expose each other like quit trying one up each other anyways we'll talk about this in a different episode but like thank you guys for watching you know I'm so excited to be here I love you guys so so much and bye